Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to attach your PlayStation 3 controller to your PC. Now I'm not going to cover the wireless version as that's going to be added on in an additional video as there's going to be more steps, another program that you're going to need to install and there could be a lot more problems such as drivers needing to be installed, your Bluetooth not working and so forth. So I'll be covering that in a additional video. So for this one I'm going to be using the USB cord that comes with your PlayStation or your PlayStation controller and I'm just going to plug that into the PC and go through the cord. So what you see in front of you is what I have. I have a DualShock 3 wireless controller for PlayStation. It's the exact same color. This is the exact same model that I have and I'll be using that one for this tutorial. So the first thing that we want to do is come over to this GitHub page and download the DS HID Mini. Now I'll include a link to this page down below in the description as well as a page to an alternative site, a storage site that will have that .zip file just in case anything happens to this page. If it goes down, you'll have that storage site to fall back to and download the driver. So what we want to do is we want to come down to a more stable version. These are all beta versions here and they tend to have bugs. So what we want to actually do is come down to the I believe the last stable version was the 2.2.282, which is going to be this version right here. It's the latest, and this is the more stable version. So you're going to come down all the way to this .zip file, and you're going to download this zip file here. All right, now that we have the zip file, we need to decide where we're going to extract it. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to extract it onto the desktop here. So I'm just going to right click, go new and create a folder. And I'm going to call this DS hid mini. And I'll be extracting it into this folder. So I'm just going to drag and drop it into that folder here. Now, depending on what type of zip extractor you have, if it's 7-zip or WinRAR, if you right click on it, you'll have either extract all, extract here, and so forth. So I'm just going to extract all, and it's going to give me this little window here. And as I can see, it's the right location, it's the desktop, this folder, and I'm just going to hit extract. All right, so it opened up the folder for me. And what I'm going to do is come over to the 64-bit folder here because that's what I'm running is a 64-bit and then inside of this folder I have the DS hit mini folder I'm gonna click on that and then there's two setups that we're going to have to install and I'm saying install not run because you're going to have to actually install these so you have the DS hit mini setup and then you have the IG filter setup so I'm gonna install the DS hit mini first I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna come down to install I'm going to click install and Windows 11 is giving me this little notification. I'm just going to hit yes and then it's going to pop up a window that says the operation completed successfully. That's good. And then I'm going to come down to the IG filter. I'm going to click on this, right click, go to install. Windows is going to give me that little notification. I'm just going to click yes. And then it's going to give me that little box that says the operation completed successfully. So let's go ahead and just hit OK here. All right, so what I want to do is come back out to this DS hit mini folder here where it has the DS HMC execute. Let's go ahead and just click on that. So at the moment, I don't have my controller plugged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug the USB into my PC here. So here we are. We have the PS3 controller connected. So if you look on your controller, you can actually see the light go from 1, 2, 3, 4. It means it's actually being detected. Now, when you actually play a game, it'll actually stop at one of those numbers. All right. And so now everything should be set up correctly for you to use your PlayStation controller in whatever game or emulator that you're going to be using. All you need to do is go into the input input section in whatever emulator or game and you know set your controller up for your inputs. Now if you do need to make some changes you will have to enter administrator mode. So I'll show you what I mean. If I click on the PlayStation controller I can only edit these here. I can't edit anything else like the X input. So to do that I can actually exit and I can right click on the dshmc.execute and I can run it as administrator. Now if I come to the PlayStation 3 controller and I click on it, I can actually edit everything now that I'm in administrator mode. So I can change the X input, which I don't want to as this is what I'm going to be using. 
I can change the idle disconnect period and everything, which everything is fine. Like I said, you shouldn't need to change it uh, in settings. Settings is also fine. So let's go ahead and test this. All right, so to test this out, I'm gonna use the Visual Boy Advance. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to options. I'm gonna come down to Joypad and I'm gonna go configure and I'm gonna configure one. And so I'm gonna set the controls up as up. And as you can see, it moved down to the next box, which means it registered and so it is working so i'm going to hit down is down left is left right is right the x will be the a and then the circle will be the b and then i'll have the left the right the select is select the start is start and i'm not going to set down any of that so i'm just going to hit okay and then i'm going to select a game all right, so here we are in game. I'm going down, I'm going right. It's actually registering. Uh, as soon as I take my thumb off, it stops. You know, so there's no lag, there's no delay. It's uh, working nice and good. I can go in and check my Pokemon. So yeah, everything is working good. Now, if you use a PlayStation emulator or PlayStation 2, or you're using a game, remember you have to go in, you have to set the inputs just like I did uh, with the options there. So yeah, so that's all for this video. That's how to hook up your PlayStation controller with the USB to your PC. Next, I will cover how to do it with uh, wirelessly through Bluetooth. Now I'll be using the PlayStation 4 controller for that as that's the only thing that I really have that it's going to be Bluetooth. So I'll cover that in another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.